So how do plants convert uh, light energy uh, into carbohydrates? Well, the key to this process is the molecule ATP. ATP is the energy currency of all cells, both in plants and animals. ATP is produced by the chloroplasts within the leaves uh, from the incoming light energy. And this chemical energy in the form of ATP powers the engine of photosynthesis, Rubisco, so that Rubisco can fix the carbon from the atmosphere and make the carbohydrates that are necessary for our food. When these carbohydrates are consumed uh, in our diet, um, they're broken down and ATP is regenerated uh, in the mitochondria, in the cells um, uh, of our body um, to produce the ATP that's required to fuel building proteins, uh, new structures, our organs, our muscles, uh, and fuel our physical activities. We need to be able to accommodate a globally burgeoning population. Over the next 30 years, we'll have to produce 70% more food uh, from an area of land that's dwindling due to land degradation, uh, reduced yields from climate change, we have to find ways of improving crop production, producing more from less land with less inputs. Uh, improving photosynthesis is a key component of this process. Uh, we need to be able to harvest um, light energy more efficiently, fix carbon more efficiently, and produce more carbohydrates and protein from our crops with less inputs on smaller land footprints to have a sustainable agriculture into the future.